Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm back with another video tonight and we're going to make a video on how to install Metasploit in Windows. Commonly, Metasploit is used in a Linux environment, uh, specifically Kali Linux in most cases. And But there are some people that want to use Metasploit in Windows and they have a Windows installer file. So we're going to go to Metasploit's website and there is a link in the description. Um, where you can go download the install file. So let's just open that, that up in the browser. And we'll go here and you're gonna see installing Metasploit framework. Um, one thing you should do before you get started is disable your antivirus. Because um, if you don't, your antivirus is gonna detect um, Metasploit and it's gonna block the installation fail. So for now, go ahead and disable it. And then at the end of the video, I will explain to you how to add an exception um, give you an, a general overview of how to add an exception to your antivirus. That way your antivirus doesn't have an issue with Metasploit. All right, so once you've disabled the antivirus, go to here. You'll see installing Metasploit framework on Windows section. Click on visit that link, download the Metasploit framework latest.msi file. And when you download that, we're going to install this from the command line. We're not going to double click on the icon and install it. It's important. A lot of people have been having problems by installing it by double clicking on the, the downloaded file. You need to do this from the command prompt. So once you get it downloaded, type, um, open up your command prompt and run as administrator. That way it has administrative privilege and open up your command prompt and then navigate to where you download the Metasploit file. In my case, C downloads. Um, and then you should see a Disploit Framework Latest. So we're going to, like I said, instead of double clicking it, we're going to run it um, manually. So we're going to type in a command here. And I'll put the command in the, um, the description. All right? It's just Metasploit Framework dash latest dot MSI, the name of the file. And we're going to log the installation. That way, there's any errors. Then we can go back and see what happened. So type that in, copy and paste, and just hit enter. It's going to open up the installer. Hit next. Accept. All right, Metasploit. It's going to install on the C drive. Hit next. It'll create a directory called Metasploit Framework. Hit install. Right, and that'll take a couple minutes to install. And while that does um, this, I want to just let you guys know this video is really just how to install Metasploit. Um, how to use it is another video, two or three more videos. There's a lot to Metasploit, um, but this will get you installed and get you to where you can load up MSF console and then you can start using the tool. We'll get it installed today and then in the future I'll create a video on how to use Metasploit. All right, this takes a couple minutes. All right, it says finished, hit finish. And then once you've um, installed it, then Metasploit, you run from the command line. So you don't, um, it's not, it doesn't have a graphical user interface. So Metasploit is installed in the C drive. So go to CDC, and then you'll see a folder called Metasploit Framework. So change that. Okay, and then go into the, let's do a, you'll see a bin directory. So I go to the, go to bin directory. And then here you're going to see a bunch of different files. To start up Metasploit, you're going to run this file right here, msfconsole.bat. And all we got to do is just type it out. And hit enter. And that's going to take a couple minutes because it's going to load a few things in the background to load up the framework. And then, then it'll come up to uh, a Metasploit um, prompt. And then at that point, then you're ready to use Metasploit. 
Hey, I want to uh, um, tell everybody thanks for the support on the channel. I've been an IT guy for 20 plus years. I studied IT security probably 20 plus years. Uh, ever since I got started with computers, I've always been fascinated with the security side. So, um, yeah, thanks for the support. I just wanted to share my knowledge with you guys. You know, it's fun for me. It's not, you know, my job is don't this field like doing what you love if you love doing computer related work or anything you know if you love doing it it's not like work it's, it's like you get to do your hobby for a living you know what I mean so so I thought I'd share some of my knowledge with you guys so thanks for the likes and the subscribes and and to mention you know if you haven't subscribed already subscribe it helps me out on the channel all right this will take a couple minutes you'll see these little little messages um they're like Warning, deprecation, whatever. That, that's made us for it. They'll update that. That's nothing to do with the installation. So it just takes, Metasploit's a pretty big program. It, it takes a few minutes to load. And also, depending on your computer. Um, with your computer, there are some minimum requirements. You, you need at least 8 gigs of RAM to run this. So if you have a computer that has less than 8 gigs of RAM, it may be very slow. Matter of fact, my computer's kind of running a little slow. I need to do a reboot. I actually haven't used Metasploit in those too much. I have, I have installed it. You know, looked at it, compared it to what is in Cali. Um, I prefer Cali. It's, everything's there. You know what I mean? I don't have to install it. It's already there. All right, as you can see, we're at the MSF console. Um, this is made exploit running in Windows. You type in, like, say, help. It'll give you, you know, a list of commands to use. Like I said, this is for another video. This is the very base. You know, just getting made exploit set up in Windows. This is how to install. But like here's like the basic commands. I'm just typing help, and it'll give you a little bit of detail. Um, but that's it. This is made us. Oh, forgot. Almost forgot one thing. We need to. Um, we need to add an exception on your antivirus. For me, I have AVG. So I'm gonna load up my anti my antivirus, and I'll show you what I mean with AVG. Your antivirus software may be different. I'm, I'm sure we have different software, but you just need to be able to go in. And I need to remember where I did this. Come here, general, and like in my case, add an exception, right? So I had to add Metasploit Framework Directory as an exception. Your software will will be this, you know, be a little different, but you need to add an exception. All right, well, that's how to add an exception, and then you can then you can safely turn your antivirus back on, and it won't cause any problems with Metasploit. All right, well that's it. If you guys need help. Leave comments and I will try to answer any questions you have and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.